Also today, a big day for veterans who live in Southern Colorado. Honor Flight of Southern Colorado, a group that works to serve our veterans, is taking a group to Washington, D.C. to visit their memorial, all while being honored. Yeah, these, this is such a cool deal. Caroline Peters joining us live at Mount Carmel. And, and now I hear the crowd behind you, the excitement, Caroline. <laughs> Yes, Ira, I've been talking to a lot of veterans this morning and they are just so excited and that is why I want to introduce you to Dan here. Now, first off, thank you so much for your service. He has not only served in the U.S. Army, but also the Air Force from what I understand. Yes, I have. And you're here today. Let's talk about just, you're one of the first people here, so I'm sure you're looking forward to this. Yes, and I hate being late, so we were here early as usual very punctual, yes. something you're used to. Let's talk about what you're looking forward to most. You're going to Washington, D.C. and Arlington, and you're surrounded by all of these other veterans. Right. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to seeing the, the different memorials, especially the Vietnam Wall, because that's one of the tours I've served. Um, I don't, I think there's a Desert Storm Memorial. I served there also, and I think there's an Iraq um, Memorial, and I also was in Iraq. What's it like already being around here, having breakfast with people that can truly relate to you? It's really exciting. I mean, it's been two, three years coming that I got a chance to do this. And uh, with COVID and everything, it set everything back. So, but uh, I've been really looking forward to it. I've got some real close friends and a brother-in-law that are in the Midwest part of the country. And they've, they've made the trip and said it's fantastic. So I'm looking forward to it. Wow, we're excited for you to go on this trip. I talked to those who helped organize this event and they care so deeply. So does the Colorado Springs and Southern Colorado community. How does that make you feel that people really, really care so deeply for our veterans? Well, it makes me real proud. I mean, when I came back from Vietnam, there was no, no welcome home party or uh, fanfares. So uh, for 10 years of my after army t life, I never even told anybody I was in Vietnam. I was ashamed of it. and. Uh, and after, you know, Desert Storm and how they treated the people was totally different. And um, so that was, it's going to be real exciting. Thanks so much for joining us and thank you for your service. We hope that you have an amazing time on this trip. And we're going to send it back to you in the studio. Reporting in Colorado Springs, Caroline Peters, News 5. All right.